It feels like ages since I last played Shangri-La, but that is the map we're doing today. We've got <laughs> Quick Revival and Cinebrandy. Just decided to blend together, you know, I'm not one to judge. Got Jug sort of just chilling in this corner. I would love to get, but we need power. This is probably one of the most beautiful zombies maps out there, especially the Zombies Chronicles version. But to be honest, the Black Ops 1 version is also really, really good. Also, just want to quickly say thank you all so much for 53,000 subscribers. And sorry for the fact that there was only one video last week week if you've watched my most recent one it was kind of scuffed i just wanted to put up a relatable gameplay of origins and the upload speed was absolutely abysmal so it took me like two days of uploading for it to go up Ooh, double tap see again another perk i would love to get and why did i not buy quick revive i don't know you know sometimes i just don't think but this is one of the new perks repairman rum we are playing the most recent update to reaper's collection as always a link will be in the description if you want to do the 50 perk mod for yourself i'm also out of ammo uh where is the RK5? Oh, it's here. Here we go. Give me that with that absolutely gorgeous cherry fizz camo. Oh, a free perk. Don't mind if I do. And we've actually got to get them as soon as possible because the fucking monkeys, they just steal our shit. Go away. You get an extra 500 points if you kill them before they actually touch you, which is nice. And the perk we got is Miracle Hands Mocker, I believe, which means we every time we get a drop from now on, we can swap them out and potentially get something even better. God, like, just look at this, dude. Look at that lens flare. I think I used this as a thumbnail like a while back, but... It just, it looks so good. The whole temple vibe. I know Shang is kind of, it's hit or miss with the community. You know, a lot of people say that it's a bit too difficult. It is also annoying. You can't do the Easter egg on solo, but hey, it is what it is. Got the mystery box down here. Nitrogen cooled. Can't prone. You know what? I don't normally do this, but I'm actually going to go for a spin of the box. Round two. Fuck it. Why not, you know? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? We got the dredge. See, I'm not even mad because I actually like the dredge. Pretty underrated gun. Let's just go to the next round, though. Let me know down in the comment section, actually. Which map do you think is the most difficult? I love asking questions like this because I get so many, like, different responses because people who haven't played Black Ops 4, for example, what would they consider to be the hardest zombies map? I would imagine it'd be, like, maybe Shangri-La, even. I will say, though, even though I love the Cherry Fizz camo, it's so bright. <laughs> I'm just imagining how sad this is going to look. The Reaper Collection mod is actually going to be getting an update very soon that will allow us to play on Call of the Dead Remastered, which is going to be absolutely awesome. The second that is available, I'll do a video on it. And I got a locus out the box. Why did I even spin it? Why do I do this to myself? Not like it's a bad sniper, but you know, I just, I prefer full auto stuff. Where's the zombie? Oh yeah, they spawn in the roof. That's actually terrifying, not gonna lie. So here we go, we can change this to a perk upgrade. Now we have Miracle Hands version 2. And I hear a monkey somewhere, where are you? Oh, here he is. Hey, yeah, give me that extra 500 points. Open up this door next. So to get the power on, it's not too difficult. We've just got to open up this next door and then we're done. All right, we've got the points. Screw it. Let's go and do it. Power switch. Ah, it's over here. I like how we've got a perk just in the middle between the two switches. That's kind of cool. One of the only maps to have two power switches that do the exact same thing. So I don't really get why. But anyway, novelty thing, I guess. It's annoying. I've got to try and chase down Quick Revive again now. Hoping it'll spawn near me soon. What's this? Down as Delight. Double bleed out time. I'm good. Double bleed out time is amazing if you're playing co-op, but it's just totally useless if you're playing solo. Oh god, we've got a Shrieker. I hear the bastard. Where is he? Where actually is he? I'm kind of scared now. We've got an insta-kill. Screw it, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> he got bodied. This poor guy, he really tried. No match for the dredge plus insta-kill. Just in one of those good moods. You know when you wake up and you're like, fuck yeah, I want to do something that I'm really passionate about. And that right now is recording. Now, I'm going to quickly go and have a look around the map. Because if we could find Jug before it changes, that would also be nice. If you're unfamiliar with the settings of how this works, every single round the perks will change location. It's the only way to get all 50 plus of them on the map at one time. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a positive and a negative because trying to find a certain perk is going to be quite difficult. All right, maze time. Oh my god, we actually got just straight through. We have a double tap. Honestly, if I don't find anything as good as that, I might just take it. Yeah, it's not looking like we have anything better than that. I'm going to I'm going to just say fuck it and get double tap then. Gimme, gimme. Does Miracle Hands make you drink perks faster? That felt like a faster animation. But anyway, so Zombo, you the last one missing. Oh my god, this is why I don't snipe. Wasn't even the last one, it was this guy. Just see the Pack-a-Punch staring at me from up there. To be honest, I mean, people say Shang is hard, but it came out, what, 14, 13 years ago? And by round six, I mean, we haven't got anything that's giving us bonus points, so... 
We've had power on basically by round five. Could have even been sooner if I wasn't trolling with the box spins. I think Shang is definitely underrated. It's one of those maps where it ages like fine wine, you know? Every time you go back to it, ooh, pack a punch. But every time you go back to it, it's sort of just like, you appreciate it a little bit more. Oh, I think I hear a fucking napalm spawning. That's kind of terrifying. Where you at, broski? Oh, he exploded. <laughs> Why did he explode? I don't know. He wasn't near me, so we got here. Blood Wolf bite. Oh, yeah. See, he exploded over here. I don't know why, but it happened. We've got Repairman Rum again. This is the new one. Eh, I mean, I don't, I'm not really focusing on repairing barriers right now, you know. Here's the Pack-A-Punch pad. We did just get a free one, though, so do we really need it? What we got down here? Stamina up. Ooh, that would actually be quite nice. I'll pick that up. Gotta love the maneuverability A. This is why I came over here. Juggernog. Every single perk can be bought twice. So the next time, we'll get even more health when we get Jug. But yeah, there we go. Three out of four of the perks we have are the original ones. But, you know, gotta start with the basics. Shang is kind of spooky, though. I'm not gonna lie. I really prefer sort of training in the spawn, I think, is the best place. Maybe it's not. I don't know. This is just where I go to. Oh, another free perk. The, or another new perk. The Momentum Mojito. Sprint to build up momentum, increasing speed. And then at top speed, it can kill zombies when you run past them. Which is kind of awesome, to be honest. Also, hey, Napalm guy. What's up? How's it going? You freaky bastard. I wish I could get close to him without him... Absolutely. Oh, double points. Without him burning my goddamn screen. I want to appreciate the coolness. Oh my god, we just got a thousand points off of that, um, that monkey we killed. Ow. Oh, what's this? A death machine? Turn it into a free perk. Let's go. Dead shot. Typical. Of course we get dead shot. What other perks we got lying around? We can double buy double tap. That's a mouthful. But <laughs> even more bullet damage. Can't really say no, to be honest. Ooh, muscle milk in the corner. It just chains electric melee stabs. I'm not really too fussed. <gasps> Quick revive. Let's go. That's exactly what I wanted. Ooh, an electric cherry as well. I mean, we are literally getting all of the original perks, but some of them do be the cheapest ones. Maybe I'll train or like stay around here for a bit. I really just love the scenery. It's so good. Hacker box. This is an interesting one. So every time we spin the box, we have a chance to get a pap to go instead. But you see, pair that with the pack a punch power up drop. Maybe I take that off in the future videos because it does get a bit easy. Oh, hello. Hello, napalmy napalm. Oh, what did we get? Perk upgrade. I think it was dead shot, which means more headshot damage. Thank you for being an actually good one. All right, explode the napalm. I didn't explode the napalm. Oh my god. Not me almost dying. Kaboom! Ow! Max ammo? Sure. I think every monkey I've killed so far in this game has given us... Oh, we're gonna nuke. Uh... Oh, no, you bitch! All right, I'll take the double points. Just gonna buy PhD before it disappears. But, <laughs> and then, of course, I fail it now, but I was gonna say every monkey we've killed has given us the bonus points. But, oh no, getting trolled. Um, we'll pick up Nuka Cola. Nice little Fallout reference. So when we go down, it'll dr it'll drop a uh, a nuke power up. More useful on co-op, but it's also nice for solo if you want to just clear. Speaking of clear, oh, I cannot wait for this new Walking Dead spin-off. Gonna be so good. A slight spoiler warning, so skip forward like 30 seconds if you're interested in all that. But seeing Rick Grimes come back, oh, I cannot wait. I'm really hoping Morgan is gonna be in it because if you haven't seen Fear the Walking Dead. Again, spoiler, but at the end of Fear the Walking Dead, he sort of vanishes and no one knows where he's gone, but he's gone to find Rick. So there's a, a pretty high chance that he's going to be in this new spin-off. I'm just excited to see all the world building, really. That's the coolest part of Walking Dead for me is just the entire universe. Like, they've only been to maybe seven or eight states across the whole of America. And obviously there's, what, 52 states? And they've been to a couple different countries. I went to, like, what, France, I think? And maybe Canada in one of the spin-offs, but that was it. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what happens. I know my buddy It's Broads is working on some Walking Dead related zombies maps, which are going to be awesome to play when they finally release. Not sure when that'll be, probably in a fair bit. Can't rush perfection after all. Plus, I'm more than fine with waiting. Like, you know, I, when it comes to zombies maps or releasing anything, you should always take a little bit longer and perfect something like that. I know one of my friends, actually, they made an SCP mod uh, free perk. Let's go. Teddy bear thing. Oh, that's one of the new perks. It, it has a chance to, like, prevent getting a teddy bear from the mystery box. That's cool. But yeah, one of my friends made an SCP mod and a bigger YouTuber actually played it, which is awesome because I've been watching them work really hard on that SCP mod for the longest time. And to see actual recognition for it is awesome. Ooh, perk upgrade. Uh, Nuka Cola. Nice. I'll buy some bigger rush. It basically just increases our bullet damage. It, it, like it creates explosions when we fire, which is nice. God, I talk so rapid sometimes. <laughs> like 
Oh, I mean, wonders if I should slow it down when doing commentary, but I've not really seen anyone complain about it necessarily. It means I ramble and videos can go on for a lot longer than they necessarily need to, but at the end of the day, does it really matter? Like, if you guys are watching and enjoying what I'm doing, and I'm enjoying what I'm doing, then no harm, no foul, you know? All right, where's this cheeky monkey at? Where is he? Ah, oh, there we go, I think. Was it? It's annoying it's every single power-up you spawn that will gi give you a monkey. I'd prefer if it was a chance at a monkey, but oh well. Big whoop, I suppose. Let's buy Mule Kick. The upgrade returns lost weapon when perk is reobtained. Kind of useless, actually. <laughs> Although I will say it's nice to be playing this mod and not just instantly getting... What perk is it? Oh, free perk. Nice. Bandolier Bandit. But not just getting like the ones that give us bonus points. So we actually spend a bit longer appreciating whatever perks it is we have. What's it called? Point Crusher and I forget the name of the other one, but we'll probably see it soon. Swarm Scotch is very cool. Occasional headshots and reloading an empty clip spawns a friendly swarm of insects that follow and damage zombies. Like... Can you get much cooler than that? And then when you rebuy it, the zombies that live basically have a higher chance of dying afterwards. Or spawning in swarms or something like that. It's pretty cool. Go away, Shrieker. We've not actually been on the other side of the map yet, so just to avoid being in the same place, let's uh, let's go check it out. We've got Vigor Rush again over here. This, like, minecart thing, which is cool. Bandolier Bandit. The minecart's really cool, but I feel like nobody ever uses it because you can sort of travel around the map way easier if you just use the little things in the ground. Oh, well, here we go. Free perk. That was... I think that's one of the money ones. Let's go. Perk, a pack a punch. Let's go. Just... Oh my... Another free perk. Something is giving us bonus ones, which is cool. And another one, Ethereal Razor. Dear God, I can't keep up. And one of my perks just upgraded. All right. Ow, fuck off, monkey. Ah, here we go. No bear brew. So players can move the mystery box and wonder fizz to another location once per round. What the fuck? That is, that is cool. Point Crusher, that's the name of the perk I was thinking. I think that's what we just got upgraded as well, which is nice. So I'm gonna go and find the mystery box. You're telling me I can change the location of the box? I'm gonna buy ICU as well. All right, here we go. Oh, and just getting absolutely shit on. There we go. Repairman Rum again. I mean, we should probably pick that up. We keep seeing it and it's one of the new ones. I want the sprinting one again, Me Momentum Mojito. So as soon as I see that next, we're definitely picking it up. I absolutely love the dredge, man. I don't know why this LMG ever got hated on. It's one of the coolest. I mean, there's not many zombies games or COD games in general with six round burst weapons. What does the upgrade do? Oh yeah, but boards take longer. Carpenter is affected by all per effects if the grabber has a perk. Ah, or has the perk. Gotcha. Interesting. So I can, oh, move mystery box here. Hold F to move mystery box here. So if I go over to, hello, PhD, uh, longer slide. Oh, I don't have any more money. You're telling me if I go over to, where's the next mystery box location? Oh, here we go, right here. Move mystery box here. So is it just gonna, it does. What the fuck? Wait, that's so cool. Does it change at the end of the round or is this just here permanently now? I think we can do it once per round. See, now that is a unique and interesting take on a perk. I like that. Oh, and the box just spun. What? Or is it changing location? What? What? Did a ghost just spin the box? I swear. <laughs> Very strange. I'm going to... Uh, it's a bit finicky, though. Okay, there we go. Double points. Don't mind if I do. What did I just get? The L4 Siege. I forgot that even existed. But... Sure. What's up, Shrieker? Get the fuck out. Maybe I'll keep the siege. I don't think I've ever pack-a-punched it before in my history of playing zombies. Free perk. We got Winter's Whale. Another free power-up. And we got this. I should have pack-a-punched the L4 siege. Whatever. Sometimes my brain no do the worky. We'll buy a static elixir. I like running past the zombies and them just getting stunned instantly. It's quite cool. I thought the L4 siege was only on Garod Krovi, but I guess not. I guess it's on all the Chronicles maps as well, which is nice. I think maybe it's on Revelations as well. I don't know for certain. Someone could probably let me know down in the comments. Oh, I hear another shrieker. Go on, swarm. It's just passing through the zombies. That's so cool. Where's he at? There we go. <laughs> One burst. Bye-bye, bitch. You thought you stood a chance. I got a... I need speed cola, ideally, but look at that. A static elixir putting in work. Can't kill me, bitches. <laughs> like, tell me that's not a really cool idea for a perk, though. What's this? Carpenter, double points, death machine, insta-kill. Fuck it. Don't mind if I do. And we got... Oh, the pack a punch. Let's go. L8 Circus and a perk upgrade. Phew. I mean, when we actually have PhD, we may as well utilize it. Buy that muscle milk. Oh no, Bull Ice Blast, sorry. I always mix those two up. 
Pew, and that's the round. We're not doing bad, actually. We've got 35 out of 102 perks, technically, because the upgrades, obviously. It'll take time, but we'll get there eventually. I'll get Ethereal Razor upgraded next. Patiently waiting for some zombies. Here we go, buy this. Doing it in the riskiest spot ever. Oh, fuck. Just get me through. Oh, I hear a napalm spawning. Is he over here? Oh, he exploded. <laughs> Sometimes the napalms just do that. Did he get spiked or something? Oh, and since I know somebody's probably going to ask it in this video as well, because I always get it, I'm leveling up because I am still using the boy client. It's not publicly available anymore, and I do not endorse it, but I use it entirely for FPS stability when recording. That's literally it. If you want a decent alternative, then just use the T7 patch when you load up the Steam version of Black Ops 3. It'll do the exact same thing, and it's more than enough. Arguably better, actually, because Boy isn't getting any more updates. Like, literally, the only benefit I'm getting is the fact that my FPS doesn't drop ridiculously. Which, I mean, I'm all about seamless quality when it comes to the videos, so kind of more important to me, you know? The client got taken down, but you can still use it solo if you already had it. Like, I, it's not like I've got it by some sussy means. I mean, I literally just paid for it back when it was free oh here we go another perk that's bull ice blast i think oh another free perk blood wolf bite let's go and we're gonna get another one perk upgrade sure oh another one god we're getting so many no that's bull ice blast do i have to just think every perk is bull ice blast apparently i do but yeah i got the boy client back when it was still available on patreon i paid for it so oh god oh he exploded i i wasn't paying attention Am I immune to the fire? No, I'm not. I thought I might be because of um, PhD, but I think I take less damage though, because I can sort of like just run past it very easily. What's this? Time slip speeds up mystery box. Sure, I guess. I guess I'll pick up down as delight because I know for a fact it'll be one of the last ones I'll get if I don't pick it up now. Ooh, Luna, let's go. Always love when she spawns in. She absolutely demolishes the zombies. I need to upgrade her so I can get those bonus drops. She gives you so many points. It's basically what I wish Turned was like, but it's not. Because Turned on Black Ops 3 doesn't give any points. And it doesn't even count as kills. Oh my god, there's a napalm and I'm stuck. Oh shit, get me out. Fucking hell. That was almost a very easy death. <laughs> Jesus. All the zombies just dying, running into it. I'll use some L4 Siege, because why not? Packer box, sure. Very orangey looking perk bottle. I haven't opened this door yet. Normally you don't want to open this door. It's not ideal, especially if you're camping down here, but we're not really worrying about that right now. Crusaders Ale. Increased knife damage and double melee points. Sure. Be nice if I could get through some commentary without stupid hiccups. Oh, look at that swarm going in. Go on. Oh yeah, we've got that one perk that just slows all the zombies near me it's so overpowered i may turn it off at some point just because as soon as you get it it's literally just you can't die pretty much anything that gets near you is super slow and we just got another free perk and of course it's momentum mojito let's go what do we get max sure so yeah now as you can see when we run we charge up and we go super fucking fast kind of ridiculous and it just stays like this and then eventually drops off slightly yeah there we go but we still run very fast and every zombie we run past when it's charged will die i think it must be on cooldown right now oh victorious tortoise pick that up not like we have a shield on this map it's kind of useless but still blood bullets ammo slowly regenerates don't mind if i do Fighter's Fizz is OP. We want to pick that up next. If we go down, we get to keep the gun that we're holding and we just have to get a kill with it. And what is that? A zombie was spazzing out. What was that? Very strange. We really need speed cola. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot. Repairman rum. Oh boy. And a perk upgrade. Sure. And another perk. Sure. <laughs> what is happening? Oh god, and a napalm right next to me. Fucking hell, where'd you come from? Max, sure. Fighters, fizz, sure. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. So many colors on the screen, it's ridiculous. All right, well, turn this into another free perk. Death perception. Not bad. And another one. Sure. Stone cold stronghold. All right, don't mind if I do. Daminade. So many perks, I can't even keep up with them, but whatever. Oh, we did actually get cashback cocktail as well. Nice. Oh, fuck. I fell. It's fine. We have PhD. Apparently, there was an update for Vulture Raid where if we don't want to see all of, like, the perks through the walls, because it gets a bit ridiculous after a while, you can go up to it and melee and it will turn it off. So I kind of want to buy it just to test that. So realize we're on round 21. We're now 63 out of 102 perks. And that's another perk upgrade. Sure. So here we go. Vulture Raid. Buy that bad boy. So whole map, whole screen, everything becomes all woo. 
Because there's so many perks, right? If I melee... No, is that not in this update yet? Maybe it's not. Melee? Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to buy it again. We'll probably get updated soon. No, Elemental Pop was here. But we can... Okay. Double buy Momentum Mojito. Here we go. I want to showcase this motherfucker. So, running... Like, yeah, it just kills the zombies we run past. How fucking sick is that, dude? And we get to run for longer as well, longer charge time. Absolutely OP. And then we've got the one that just rebuilds all the barriers. And any zombie that tries to rip them off will just explode. <laughs> oh, you poor bastards. Didn't stand a chance. What do we got here? A perk upgrade? Sure. Another perk upgrade? Sure. Hard to keep track. And a napalm, apparently. What the fuck is happening? Hi, Luna. Pet the Luna. Let's go. Head pets. So cool. She just follows you around as well. But Winter's Whale? Oh no, Magnet Margarita. So all power-ups will just float towards us. Very nice. Cashback has been upgraded as well. Let's go. So now we get a lot more points back whenever we buy anything. Go and see what other perks we don't have. My god, I'm running fast. What is this? Oh, Swarm, we've already got. Incinebrandy. Saw this right at the start of the game and haven't bought it since. I think it just means that all the zombies we kill, like, are on fire or something like that. I forget. But anyway, run past, kill them all. This reminds me of that one drop. If you ever played Exo Zombies, it was, um, like, explosive touch i think it was called every zombie you run past would just die but oh it's on cooldown now Whee! it's so cool oh my god i'm on fire no, i'm not dead dear god okay so <laughs> momentum mojito with napalms is kind of terrifying all right change these power-ups what have i got I got a free perk and a max. Sure. Elemental pop. Let's go. Always happy to see that. And another power up. I accidentally picked up a max. We only have like 30 left. This might be one of the fastest times we've done this, but uh, well, we'll see. Death perception we've got. Ah, yes. Nitrogen cooled. That's the name of the perk. The one that slows all the zombies. So I just, there's no difficulty anymore. Wherefore art thou speed cola though? Oh, is it down here? Or what's that? Oh, down as delight. Meh. God, so many zombies spawning. Is this like one of the fastest spawns on the map? Pew, 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 pew. All dead. Double points. I mean, I'll actually take it, but... Wait, why did I do that? There's no point. <laughs> Last time I checked, I was point broke. Now we've got, what, almost 20k? Good lord. What's up, zombies? You, you thought you stood a chance? Not quite, though. I'm going to mystery box. Instant ICR. And it's not Pack-a-Punch. Tragic. Oh, we got the baby gun. Okay, I'll take a baby gun. I mean, I rarely ever get to use this. And screw it, I'll even buy the Bowie knife. I mean, I'm in a good mood. That is fucking dope. And it's got one of the rarest drop chances out of any zombies map as well. Wee, off we go. Ah, and speed cola's here too. Oh, it's a good day. It is a very good day. All right, let's stand on this. Shoot you. Packet punch is now open. If I could just please get through, or you're going to absolutely cuck me, that's fine as well, I suppose. I'll do it the old fashioned way. I'll just run through. Here we go. Packet punch time. Oh, and it's instant as well. Let's go. Can't repack it, but who cares? The fractalizer. I mean, we already kill them when running past them, right? But still, it's still cool. I mean, shoot them all, run through, they're all dead. And it will always one-shot. It might be one of my favorite wonder weapons ever. My absolute favorite is the Skull of Nan Sapwa, but this has the same kind of vibe where it's just sort of very niche but cool, you know? Oh, we're gonna nuke. I turn that into a perk. And another perk. And a perk upgrade. What the fuck just happened? I don't know. Also, seeing the tiny baby zombies is really funny. Pew, 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 pew. Max ammo. Let's go. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I love Shang. I'm saying it now. I love Shang. I think I really do like this map. Now, what perks do we not have? Oh, Blood Wolf Bite upgrade. Let's go. Blood Bullets, I want to say we have. Yes, we do. That may be it, actually. Pew, pew, pew. Get out of here. 22 perks to go. Widow's Wine. There we go. That's one of them. The old classic. What we got around this corner. The other PhD. We've already got that. Stop getting me stuck. Ow! Stop stabbing my feet. Or whatever it is you're stabbing me with. <laughs> anyway. Whee! Surprised we haven't experienced a crash at any point using this kind of shit. But, oh, Tombstone. Don't think we have that. Upgrading. Keep all perks in shadow form. Eh, it's cool, I guess. Whee! Oh my god, the one Widow's Wine Grenade killed all of them because they were all babied. That's funny. Oh, Death Machine. Turn that into perk upgrade. There's a napalm near me, apparently. Don't know where. 
Squee! You can run over napalms, right? Yeah, and they deal less damage. That's cool. Me likey. They make such goofy noises as well when you kill them. I guess we'll go have a look for more perks. Oh, double bite ICU. We only have like two or three more actual perks to get and then the rest is just upgrades. If you've not played Shangri-La yet for yourself, I highly suggest it. Maybe even try it with this mod because, I mean, obviously this mod makes every map kind of just ridiculously easy. That's not why we do it though. We do it because I guess the collection aspect. Here's the second PhD we were missing. Let's go. It's also just cool to play all these original maps and just see what it would be like if we had a ridiculous amount of perks you know oh i see change choose give me that bad boy hello luna please tell me I okay i didn't shrink luna that's good that would have been an awful bug oh pack a punch thing is here as well nice blaze phase we don't have yet very nice very cool I'm gonna charge up my momentum and kill all of these fuckers or apparently apparently not all right whatever <laughs> Oh my, the box just spun for me and gave me a ray gun mark too. I'm sorry? Is that just, is that part of the perk? No bear brew? Like if we're standing near it, it'll randomly just spin and give us a gun? What the fuck? Wait. Okay, but that's kind of awesome though. Well, before we go and do that, I'm going to just go and I think we need mag gas. Yep. We only have a few more perks to go. Zomb shell, double by that. Point crusher we've got. Um, I think, oh, maybe we actually, we have a lot of perks. Anyway, I'm just going to stand on this. We'll go pack a bunch. Can't exactly say no to a ray gun mark two papped. Wee. Oh my God, I forgot the uh, <laughs> banana colada and shit. There we go. Ray gun mark two. And we only need seven perks left. It's so cool. We have a counter now that we can actually keep track of. Double by Victorious Tortoise. Oh, double by Electric Cherry. Hey, we're just, we're finding all of them. This is probably the best 50 perk video that we've done so far in terms of like the progress speed. All right, let's pew pew with the ray gun. Is it just me? Does this look different? The red is a lot more vibrant. Interesting. Well, unless I'm just tripping out. Does it always look like this when papped? Maybe it's comboed with like Vigor Rush and all the other perks that give us bonus effects when we shoot. What's this? Insta kill, perk upgrade. Let's go. I think we just got another power up as well. Whichever one is doing this is amazing. Yeah, here we go. What's it gonna be? Free perk. Dying Wish. How have we not had Dying Wish yet? That's actually surprising. And another one. Some kind of gun perk that I forget the name of. Tell you what I would like though is Elemental Pop, if we could find that. First, let's just uh, pull out the old baby gun. Oh, it's so good. Stamina up, we've got that. I'm glad we have that upgraded. We've got this. Nope, already got it. Ah, yes, we've reached the point where I just run around looking for perk machines. Wait, we only have one left? God damn, okay. I mean, don't mind if I do. Oh, oh my God, it's literally right here. There is no way we got that lucky. What the fuck? 52 minutes into re the recording, we've actually got all 50 plus perks upgraded it's technically like it's 51 because it's 51 doubled so 102 but i say 50 plus just because it's easier to keep track of but yeah i mean we've, we've done it now i could just end the video here but maybe we continue to get some more kills just keep on playing for a little bit i mean there's no rush okay i'll even ride the minecart i've not ridden it once in like the entirety of shangri-la remastered so why not looks it looks cool why is there a there a napalm on me very strange. Anyway, wee! And Luna followed me. That's cool. You see how she gives little ammo drops, though? Like, we just got 10 ammo for our baby gun. Kind of insane. I just heard a napalm explode. Lol. Hello, Luna. Go, 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 go. More ammo for the baby gun. It would be very cool to go for a high round run with all this OP shit, but it just takes too long to record. And when it comes to streaming, it's something that you really have to be in the mood for. And I really do much prefer making videos over streaming. Maybe one day I'll do it, you know? I've still not even uploaded the 50,000 sub special yet. And who knows? I mean, the growth recently has been kind of insane. We may end up hitting 60k before I even get around to it, but hopefully not. Not like I'd complain, I mean, you know, but... Oh my god, these zombies are all stuck in the barrier. Are you good? Is that round 30? I think it is. Let's go. Should we do some more spins of the box? Screw it. I mean, what else could we get? The M14. Awesome. Not really. Oh, the ray the Razorback. And it's packer punched instantly. I was literally about to say, I guess we could try for the Razorback. And then we just pull it. That is absolutely nuts. So if you don't know what the Razorback is, if you press, I think it's four. Yeah, it changes into a Wonder Waff, basically. So let me just uh, train up all the zombies and not kill them with momentum. But here we go. Shoot. Zap, zap, zap. 
So yeah, now we have basically a Wonder Woff, a full auto Reagan SMG, which by the way, I think it's been buffed or they're looking to change the recoil. So it's not this ridiculous. That'll be coming out soon. But we've also got the baby gun, of course, and the Reagan Mark II. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, it's kind of insane. Triple Wonder Weapons. Technically four, almost. I haven't had this much fun on zombies in a while. Just running around, killing shit. Not a care in the world. Whee! Sometimes I worry I say the exact same things too much. But, I mean, when you make videos, it's kind of... It's bound to happen. You're going to say the same sort of quotes in multiple videos. Just my personality, I suppose. But, anyway. Three zombies left. Which one do we want to use? Let's use the, uh... Let's waff them. Well, it says three. Why are there only two here? Where's the last one? Oh, here we go. He's over there. Hurry your ass up, boy. We're waiting for you. Oh, and then it stopped sprinting because I got close. Here we go. Zap. Pew, 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 pew. So fucking cool. I wonder, can we actually kill them with the explosion? Oh, we can. I was curious if it was going to work, but... Because obviously it's a kind of late round now, but... Whee! And we've got Blaze Phase and Banana Colada. Okay, we're just doing a crash speedrun percent at this point. And we've got Luna jumping in as well. Go, Luna. Oh, perk upgrade, even though that does nothing. Nice. A free perk as well. Nice. Charge up momentum. There we go. What's up, brothers? Um, hello? Oh. So we can only kill, like, 15 at a time or something. Which I suppose it would be kind of OP otherwise. It still is OP, but just ran over a napalm without realizing. Cool. Full auto ray gun! Three zombies left. Where are you at, boys? Oh, they're all here for once. Nice. And then the stupid monkey... <laughs> it died from the widow's grenade. Nice. Good job, bro. Where should we go? I mean, I love that we can run through that mud in there, by the way. Just super fast. One of the most annoying places, of course. Oh, yeah. We have double jump as well. Let's see if we can try and glitch out. Can we... No, I can't get up there. Where can we glitch up to? Any secret or locations, maybe? What about in this corner? Nope. I also just love that because of Vulture Raid and some other perks, sometimes when we shoot, we'll get an, a bullet back instantly. But then we'll also get bullets off the ground, which we can pick up. So it's almost impossible to run out of ammo, actually. The hardest part about getting a high round on this would literally just be the time it would take and hoping you don't crash. <laughs> other than that, very easy. No, if I could get through the stupid thing. There we go. Can you baby a turn? Oh, it just kills it. Unless that was like, it was already dead anyway, but... I was hoping it would turn into a baby and run around all angry. Round 33. Well, we've been recording for an hour now. I think I've had my fix of, uh, of zombie killing. For the time being anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says that you might like it. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.